Hi, Andrew. Yep. Um, welcome. Hi. Thank you very much for, for coming to Where the Waters Meet conference. And, um, and thank you to SMEC too, because you, you guys are, are, are sponsoring an award. Um, tell us a little bit about SMEC and your commitment to, uh, to infrastructure delivery. Uh, SMEC's obviously very active in the infrastructure space. Uh, we have been for quite some time since our inception in the, through the uh, Snowy Mountains Hydro Scheme, um, which we're now involved um, in the second round, Snowy 2.0 as well. Um, obviously, SMEC have been fairly pivotal to infrastructure development in Australia. Um, and as far as our commitment to, to innovation goes, um, I think there's, there's probably no more important sector than the water sector to be innovating in at the moment. Um, and so SMEC are extremely proud to, to be sponsoring the um, Infrastructure Project Innovation Award. Yeah, fantastic. And so, um, also too, is it welcome to Tasmania? Um, you, you're down here. Have you heard much about some of the interesting Tasmanian infrastructure projects that are floating around? Do you have any? Uh, ab absolutely. Um, with everything that's happening in, in Tassie at the moment, the Battery of the Nation projects are obviously extremely exciting. Um, and um, with the initiation of Taswater's new capital delivery office as well, um, we think it's going to be a very, very exciting time over the next few years. Um, we're very excited to see what will happen over the next few years in terms of um, modernising Taswater's um, and Tasmania's assets and bringing Tasmania to the forefront of innovation um, and understanding the role that Tasmania can play in um, tackling some of the major challenges that we face as a nation and globally as well. And how do you, how do you see in terms of some of the, the challenges for um, Tasmanian infrastructure projects? What, 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 are the, what are going to be some of the things that are potentially going to be challenges as we enter what looks to be a golden age of investment? Hmm. Uh, well, Tas Tasmania being separated from the mainland, I think there are unique challenges um, that that presents. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems will be um, finding enough people to, to get everything done. Yeah. Um, it sounds like there's a, a fairly um, fairly ambitious target that um, both of the, the major um, corporations we've talked about are planning, are hoping to meet. Um, and I certainly think that that's a challenge that Tasmania is up to, um, yep. but I think that that's a, a major challenge there. Do you see competition with, uh, with other mainland projects, like uh, we might want to build a battery of the nation, but then there's Snowy Hydro, and we might want to build mm. some Taswater projects, but we're competing with freeways in Melbourne. How do you see availability <laughs> working out? Well, look, I mean, it's, it's uh, in that sense, you're right, it's an Australia-wide problem, isn't it? Uh, over in Melbourne, we're um, building huge tunnels. Mm. Um, we're building freeways. We're, uh, we're investing in infrastructure in a sense that is really unprecedented. And you're right, the same thing is happening throughout yeah. the nation. Um, I think Tasma Tasmania's um, role in the infrastructure br boom is unique, yeah. though, in what um, Tasmania are trying to achieve. So it sounds like we're going to need maybe some innovative ways of doing things, maybe the help of some partners <laughs> like SMEC, um, and I suppose I'm looking forward to this, uh, this award, the, which is the first time in Tasmania, the Project Innovation Award. Mm -hmm. um, really starting to tease out those innovative approaches, those things that uh, enable us to do those projects in light of that competition and those headwinds. Thank you very much for sponsoring the award and we hope to see you down here with doing some work. Yeah. Thank you, Lance. Cheers. Nice. Good work, lads. Thank you.